Okay, good afternoon. My name is Andy Hunt. I run a training company called Ask Education and Training Limited, and I've been delivering health, sex and relationship education for 20 years. My work has dried up at the moment, unsurprisingly, uh, all the schools and colleges are closed. I just wanted to be able to uh, help as many people as I can. And I think what I'm going to talk about today, which is all about viruses, how they spread, antibodies, vaccines and tests. I think in hopefully in a few minutes I can explain to you how those things work and it will make an awful lot of sense to you and hopefully help you and lots of communities uh, in the coming weeks as, as we understand some of the science um, that we're hearing from TV. So the questions I'd like to answer today are uh, how viruses reproduce, how we as, a, as individuals and as, as humans fight back and talk a little bit about our immune system and a little bit about antibodies. And I'm also going to talk about what a vaccine is and how it works and hopefully we can get one for, for COVID-19 coronavirus. And also talk a little bit about the testing. We haven't got an antibody test yet, um, but when they do come, uh, hopefully in a few minutes I'll be able to explain how all that works. So very quickly, what is a virus? Well, a virus is a very, very small cell, absolutely microscopic. Let's pretend that it looks a little bit like this. It's got an outer coat, um, which is a particular shape. And every virus has a unique shape and unique uh, outline. And it's also got an, a, a kind of nucleus in there, if you want to call it that. Um, I, must, I must tell you, I'm not a biologist. This isn't technical. This is very kind of very simple version of how this works. So that's a virus. Um, viruses are not like bacteria. They can't reproduce on, the, on their own. Bacteria, if these are bacteria cells, you can watch them, obviously through a microscope, just divide and multiply, and two become four, four become eight, and eight become 16, and very, very rapidly, bacteria can grow. Viruses, they can't do that. Viruses need a host cell, uh, they need another cell in order to reproduce. And most host cells are our cells. They're using our cells that are already in our body. So there's a host cell. It's got a nucleus too. Uh, it's got an outer coat, an outer, an outer jacket that looks a bit like that. And this virus has to get into our system somehow in order to cause a problem to us. And we know with COVID-19 that the, the main way that is happening is it's going in our mouth, our nose or in our eyes because they're very absorbent. So we touch these on, on the surfaces where people have sneezed or people have coughed. We then touch our mouth. These cells can then get into our supply and they're looking for a host cell. And a host cell is a cell that is able to um, absorb uh, uh, the virus and, and transform. And this is what happens. So the virus cell gets into our system, it's into our, our body fluids, it comes into contact with a host cell. And very simply what it does is it is able to take the nucleus of itself and change what this particular host cell now does. Now, the host cells, depending on the virus, vary. So a hepatitis virus would attack your liver cells. If it's a HIV virus, they would normally attack your immune system. But we know with colds and flus, they, they're going to attack things like our, um, our respiratory system. So these are looking for host cells in our respiratory system. The cell, this cell, now has it injected itself into the host, this cell now dies and is harmless, is removed from the body. But this particular host cell now becomes a factory for new virus cells. So one virus cell infects a host, the host now mass produces new virus cells and gives, cannibalizes itself uh, to, to give the resources to make these new uh, COVID-19 virus cells. After a little while, um, the host cell is, is, is dying, it can't do anything. So all of these new virus cells now come out into our blood or into our body fluids. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to find more host cells to infect. And that is the cycle of a virus. It is looking for host cells to infect. Now these host cells don't have to be in the same person because if these are affecting respiratory cells, it's going to make us cough, it's going to make us splutter, it's going to be in our mucus. So those host cells 
could be in somebody else and they've just been infected and it's a, a circle. What, what does our body do? That's how viruses reproduce. How do we fight back? Well, amazing, our bodies are absolutely amazing. We've got an amazing immune system and we fight off 99.99% .99 of everything that attacks us. Occasionally, something gets through, particularly if it's new and we've never come across it before, like this virus is. Um, but what our body does is it makes something that can fit onto that unique shape um, and we call those antibodies. So the antibody might look a little bit like that. So in, in my case here, a T-shape. That particular, this is what we call an antibody. Now it takes us a little while to make those antibodies. So in HIV, it could take up to six, eight or 12 weeks even before we make those antibodies. We know with, with uh, this particular virus, it seems that we're able to make those antibodies fairly quickly within a matter of um, a few days or a week or so. And as soon as we start to make these for ourselves, um, we can start to eradicate all traces of this virus in our body. Because now we can attach to it, we can kill it and we can remove it from our body. So when you see somebody gets ill, they're ill for a few days uh, or they're ill for two weeks and then our body starts to fight back and they make the recovery. That recovery is because we're making antibodies that can fit onto that unique, unique shape and kill it. Now this is a brand new virus to us, so we haven't got any existing antibodies that even look like it. So we need to make something from new, which is why it is proving such a difficult uh, virus for us at the moment. Once we've made those antibodies, we eradicate all traces of the virus in our body, but we then do something very clever. We store this antibody in our bodies and we say, keep a copy of that, it might come in handy. And if we then come into contact um, with the virus again, we've already got the antibody so we can straight away fight back and we, we then don't get ill. So hopefully you understand how our immune system works. It makes antibodies. You will also understand that once we've made those antibodies, we've got a very good chance of fighting it off and, and becoming well again. How do vaccines work? Well, vaccines, very simply, we take the virus, uh, we beat it up so that it's no longer harmful to us, and then we introduce that, that virus into our bodies. It's harmless. We introduce it into our bodies. And our body goes into mild panic, and it says, oh my gosh, what on earth is that in my system? Oh, it's a virus. Make something that will fit onto it. And our body makes something that will fit onto this uh, fake virus, although it looks exactly the same. We then make antibodies for that virus. We eradicate anything that it can find in our body. But again, it stores a copy of that and it then prepares us if the real um, virus comes along. You know, there's all sorts of complications in, in making a vaccine. We need to make sure that what we're introducing is safe. We need to make sure that it's going to work. We're going to need to make sure that our body responds in the correct way and makes the antibodies, which is why it's going to take some time to produce this vaccine. But once we've got the vaccine, that's what it's going to do. It's going to help our body produce antibodies to fight it off. Hopefully, you now understand how vaccines work. Lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about testing. So at the moment, the only tests that we've got are actually looking for the virus itself. I think they're called a PCR test. Now that is only going to work, that test is only going to work if you've got the virus live in your system at that moment. So prior to being infected, maybe even a, a little while after you've been infected, there won't be sufficient quantities for that test to work. But as soon as the virus is up and running in your system, the test would then show as being positive. You would test positive to those virus cells. But as soon as our antibodies kick in and we eradicate all this virus, and we were to test you then, you would then probably test negative because we've killed all this virus in your system. So the test that we've got at the moment will only work when you're actually infected and, and you're carrying live virus. An antibody test is different. An antibody test, an antibody test actually looks for antibodies. And if we've got antibodies, so if we test antibody positive to COVID-19, 
then we know that you've been infected with COVID-19 or are infected with COVID-19 because your body has made antibodies unique to that virus and you are therefore testing positive. Now, as said on TV, that is probably a game changer for us in this current climate because if we know who has been infected and we will know that from an antibody test, um, it will be very easy for people to return to work or to know that they were safe or to know that they've had it at least and that might stop the worry. So just to recap, uh, viruses work by uh, attaching to a host. The host becomes a, a virus factory. It bursts apart, comes out, and these new virus cells are looking for more host cells in that person or in other people, and it's transmitted obviously through, through coughing. We know that we fight back. We know that our body is absolutely amazing and our body will fight COVID-19 and it will make antibodies and it will defend us, um, but it takes time. And uh, you know all the things that they can do in the NHS and in hospitals are keeping us alive long enough for our antibodies um, to kick in and our immune system to kick in and protect us. How vaccines work? Well, you, you understood that our body is going to need to um, to find one of these viral cells and create antibodies for itself. But we can do that with a vaccine by putting an artificial virus inside you that is safe to do so, so that our body reacts in the same way and generates um, some some defence from it. And lastly, you've, we've talked a little bit about the testing. We know that we can test right now for the virus, um, but actually what we really need is an antibody test. And hopefully you now know what antibodies are. I hope this helps. Um, it's the least I can do um, to support communities and people. Uh, I'm not doing much else over the next few weeks, so I might put a few more videos up if this helps. And please share this with everybody. And if you think it's a benefit, please share it widely. Um, maybe let's make it go viral. Excuse the pun. Thank you for listening.